Scientists have spent years trying to solve the true list of the top 10 video games of all time, but we've been looking at this completely wrong. It's not subjective, no. It's truly a science. Trust me, my dad works at NASA or something. So the 10th greatest game of all time has to be Kingdom Hearts. Have you ever had a girl over but wanted to play a video game? Or even just wanted to have a girl over? Like here, let me, let me give you an example. Hello? Hey, would you like to try a Final Fantasy game? What is it? Um, it has Disney characters in it. Ooh, okay. But that does not compete with the ninth greatest game of all time. Have you ever been hanging out with a friend and he looks at you and says, Hey, you're a bitch. Well, if he does, you might need to find a better friend. But if you want to challenge him in a man sport, say, Hey, you, listen here. I challenge you to baseball on the NES, and no true man or woman can refuse a true challenge of brawn, strength, and... S mm -hmm. You think baseball is a good game? You obviously have not played Quest 64. This gameplay was truly born in the wrong generation. Hell, it's 2016 and I still don't really understand how fighting when it works. This game sitting at place number 7 set a precedent for all of gaming, and that is the 2006 release of Sonic the Hedgehog. The gaming industry has had many beauties over the years on how to make games great, but this went the extra mile and taught people how to not make a game right and allowed others to learn off those mistakes. Just to prove how generous the Sonic franchise has become, they even made Sonic Boom to make sure nobody would ever forget what makes a good game bad, but let's be honest, that game was bad from the beginning. What's a better game than Sonic 06? Well, Undertale, of course. <laughs> Sitting at place number 6, and you might ask yourself, how did Undertale make it on this list? Well, I found it way easier to throw Undertale on this list instead of having to deal with the fan base and ask why it's not on the list in the comment section. Of course there's a fighting game on here. Many games have served a purpose of rewarding players for difficult inputs, outstanding neutral, or just for playing Marvel. But this game looked at it all and said, fuck it, that's too hard, just play neutral, and here is Dive Kick. There are many games that go beyond that, like Goat Simulator for example. This game taught the whole world that it is very possible to ruin a whole genre of gaming with just one meme, and it took the world by storm. Yes! Sitting in bronze place, the third greatest game is none other than Honey Pop, because um... The plot's good. So now it's time for the second greatest game of all time, and it's uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, because IGN said so. See? Look, they can't be wrong. It's IGN. Sonic's in Melee. And I wouldn't be a true YouTuber if I didn't say the greatest game of all time wasn't none other than... Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels. Welcome to Happy Wheels! Why? I really have no idea, but everyone else seems to like it, so now that I'm an official YouTuber, uh, something, something, audible.com, something, like, comment, and subscribe.